Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to talk about Destiny and Dana. Yes, we have been following this breakup and there are some new developments. You don't want to miss it. And then we're going to talk about Foodie Beauty, the rest of the Church Basement Spaghetti live stream, as well as her new live stream from this morning. Is she on her way to Montreal to pick up Natter? Time will tell. For my look today, I'm trying to invoke Gen Z. What do you guys think? Would I pass as 21? Okay, enough with the delusions. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shallowy. we? All right, you guys, for the first part of the video, I wanted to do an update on Destiny and Dana. We have been following their breakup really, really closely, and there are some new developments. But first, I wanted to talk about Dana and her recent post on Instagram. It seems like our girl is celebrating a huge milestone. Let's take a look. She posted this on Instagram 14 hours ago. I normally don't post this kind of thing because I'm really self-conscious about my weight loss, but I didn't realize how much of a difference it's really made until I looked at these two photos. I'm down about 60 pounds and I still have a long way to go, but all right. And here is the picture that Dana has shared. You can tell that there was some visible weight loss. Is that dress is either of those dresses Amber Lynn's? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just, it's it just, it's where my head went. But regardless of that, congratulations, Dana, on your weight loss. It really does show. Keep doing what you're doing, girl, because it's working. Spinning my wheels over and over trying to beat my, beat this and just completely um, fail. And feel bad about myself every time. I'm just gonna succumb to it and do my best to work the healthy around that. <laughs> when it comes to Destiny and Dana, there has been cheating rumors, specifically that Dana was the one to cheat. If you take a look at Destiny's TikTok, she recently posted a compilation of relationship clips along with the along with the caption that read I don't wish this kind of pain on anyone. Well, it seems like Dana has actually responded to that by posting an Instagram story of her own. This one being Dana seen lip syncing to Black Bear's Do Re Mi Fa So Fucking Done With You. Yeah, she was lip syncing a song that said So Fucking Done With You. So what exactly is going on with these two? And will we ever get the real story? Come on, girls. Don't be shy. Come back to YouTube. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It's time for a beauty update. Now, yesterday we did react to her live stream while it was going on the church basement spaghetti live stream, which ended up going on for seven whole hours. Seven hours. Yeah, I just put the wig on. Like, I'm not showing you the top because the lace is not done up yet. So the woman is gonna like fix the part, huh? set it on my head for it to fit like very properly. What? I don't know, like I'm gonna see like, like look how long it is at the back. It's like really long wig. Oh. We got to see her cooking spaghetti with her son. I mean, Pete's. Yeah, white people food is uh, bland <laughs> because of racism. <laughs> Wow, that was really um, just annoying to watch. If you guys were there, then you know, yikes on bikes. But we didn't get to see a picture of the villa in its current state. But thanks to Just Saying on Twitter, we do have a picture of when she turned around the camera to show the state of the villa that she is working on. 
take a look at the state, the absolute state of Box Mountain. It just gets bigger and bigger. Is that a ring light box? Wow. Foodie Beauty, you cannot ignore this any longer. I know she's not going to listen to this advice, but my advice for her would be to just fill up a trash bag with boxes, one trash bag every single day. Does, doesn't she have a dumpster? Like where I live, you have to wait. Um, the trash only gets picked up once a week. But I believe in her complex, they have a dumpster that she can take the trash to at any time time, which makes this even worse, girl. Let's just do one trash bag a day. You can do it. It'll be gone before you know it. Who am I kidding? She's never going to listen to that. I heard that Natter likes a clean house. Last night on the live stream, we were talking about how she just doesn't understand the concept. Most of us clean, you know, every single day, not like everything, but we clean a few things so that we don't have to spend an entire day um, unless you are doing your deep cleaning, you know, your spring cleaning. That's a different situation. But foodie beauty... Wow, how can you live like that? The worst part is the garbage on the floor. And I don't mean the boxes. We've seen the state of her room before. And yeah, I'm talking about the food garbage. That is just next level. So during Foodie Beauty's church basement live stream, Dee Dee, you know, the one that is staying with Natter right now, she actually left a message in the side chat for Foodie Beauty. The audacity of this woman to ask what she asked. Dee Dee came into the side chat to say the following. Would you give Natter a ride home tomorrow? You made me feel really bad for just having Natter here as a friend for a visit. Girl, for as a friend, girl, we know what y'all were doing in that bedroom. So he is going back tomorrow. So I wonder if you really care. Will you come pick him up? The absolute cojones on this woman to come and ask Foodie Beauty to pick up that man from Montreal. They're asking if I uh, if I was the one who messaged to uh, when I said you you know come get you tomorrow. That was me. Um, Chantal knows. She's messaged me. She's been kind of disrespectful to me, even though I have done nothing to her. I met her a couple of weeks ago at Natter's. She was very nice. Um, with me when she was coming to get her TV and her, or supposed to get her TV and her clothes. Um, yeah, so I don't know why all of a sudden she's like really, really mad at me and disrespectful. And so, you know, it is what it is. And I just need to call it out because like, uh, it's kind why of too much. Why is that I don't know. She messaged me on Messenger asking me as a... Who, Seriously, as a woman, what I, you know, do, uh, and, you know, what I don't want to. It's just, uh, it's just nuts. Just nuts. I almost feel like they were banking on this, banking on Chantal being that, I don't even want to say the word, to go up there and pick him up. They weren't planning on spending money on transportation for the way home. At least Natter wasn't, because they're currently at Dee Dee's place. So just mere hours ago, Foodie Beauty went live yet again today in a live stream entitled Get Ready With Me Baldy Edition. And I took some notes and I'm prepared to share with you guys my feelings. So she says that tomorrow is BBJ day. So she's going to be taking BBJ to the vet tomorrow. I know that everyone is going to hold her feet to the fire when it comes to that. Girl, don't say it unless you actually mean it. Now, she claims that she is not picking up Natter. We've seen the message from Dee Dee. We have speculated. She did go live and get ready. And she claims that she can't talk about what she's doing today. Her reasoning being she has some friends that don't want to be associated with her YouTube channel. I mean, that is semi-believable, but what friends is she talking about here? I don't know. She can't say what she's doing. Girl, this is the absolute worst. You know that so many people are speculating that you're going to pick up Natter. So this is the worst timing for you to not be able to say what you're doing. It definitely looks sus. 
I noticed that she said that she canceled her hairdresser appointment. She was supposed to go to a salon and they were going to help her out with the wig, but she canceled last minute. Um, I feel like this is such a pain in the ass. If you're a hairdresser or anybody that goes by appointment, it sucks when somebody cancels last minute. I mean, especially if it's an appointment to do hair, um, maybe you could fill it if you do have walk-ins or other appointments and stuff. But if you don't operate your business like that, she just took money out of that person's pocket. I don't think that's right. She knew that she wasn't going to go. So she should, so she should have canceled, um, in advance. <laughs> Is that petty? No. She says that she has had a wild past few days and she has been so busy. Busy with what, girl? I mean, it has been quite a wild ride, but you were just at home doing shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans, right? <laughs> After the get ready with me, all the rumors and speculation, she decided to go to Starbucks. Then she popped off. Pop off. I mean, she signed off the live stream. That's it. Where is she going? Is she on her way to Montreal? Well, maybe. I am fucking repulsed right now. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes from last night's live stream. This comment comes from Marga Esperanza, who says... I don't see her head shaving as liberating because it looks like she tried to have a pixie cut like Dee Dee and failed. So she had to shave it off. She even got her nails done because Dee Dee has manicured nails. Now she is roasting Dee Dee's friend who ate with Natter and it boils her blood that the friend is blonde and skinny. This puts a different perspective on why Chantal ended up shaving her head. I know that she has gotten a lot of positivity for her shaving her head. And you know what? Personally, I don't think it looks as bad as I would have expected it to, if that makes sense. I do think that now that all the positivity has settled down, especially if she is going back to Natter tonight, the regret might start to set in. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Destiny and Dana and Dana's weight loss? And what do you think about Foodie Beauty? Will she be going back to Montreal tonight? There's a high possibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.